Hi guys and welcome to Sports Lab with Science Junkies Greg and Hill. We're here to give you an insight into our world and uncover all the science and tech that makes these sports so awesome. <laughs> Today we're hiding out in the four lanes of traffic in West London. And it's here where skaters and skate pros tend to show off their moves. A skateboard is such a simple bit of kit. Wheels, trucks and a deck, that's pretty much it. But armed with this board, these guys can unleash their creativity, launching off kickers and performing all sorts of cool acrobatics in the air. But how do you start? With all these flips and spins, it looks like they're defying the laws of physics and not using them. But there's actually shed loads of physics in skateboarding. And if you know some of it, and you can master it, you can pull some great tricks. <laughs> Alright guys, this is Vinny. He's been skating for about 15 years. And Vinny, what I want to know is how do you get into at that kind of age? Well, I got a skateboard when I was uh, a kid. It was a love relationship. <laughs> <laughs> what do you love about it then? What is it that makes you tick? I just find it really creative. You know, not to sound cheesy, but it's me and my boys, you know, like kind of cruising around. And I've made so many of my close friends through skating. And it really is a creative sport. So Vinny, look. I've never tried skateboarding before, right? I've surfed and uh, obviously climbing and all that sort of stuff. We're up for the challenge. Give us a tip, top tip. It's all about getting confidence to rise your board, just cruising around, learning where your centre of gravity is as well. It's all right. really important. Balance, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should we go and give it a try? I think we should. Why not? The ollie is the simplest skateboarding trick. You've got to master that before you can do anything else. But how do they get so much height when it looks like they're pushing down on the board to start? It's crazy. When Vinny's just coasting along, all the forces are balanced. So he doesn't speed up, he doesn't jump. Happy as Larry. Now gravity pulls the board and him down towards the centre of the planet but the planet then pushes back and exerts an equal force back up against the wheels. To Ollie, he crouches down and explodes upwards. He straightens the back leg and lifts his arms. As he does that, his back foot kicks down on the tail, which acts like a lever. If you push down on here, the board rotates around the wheels and acts like a fulcrum or pivot point. As the tail hits the ground, the ground exerts a huge force back up against the tail. That's Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. When he's in mid-air, he slides his foot up the board. He doesn't take it off the deck, he just slides it up the deck. All that friction between his foot and the deck drags the board up higher. And then he pushes his front foot down, makes the board rotate around the centre again, lifts his back leg up, the tail flips up, and he levels out. And then it's over to gravity to accelerate the board and the skater back down to the ground. And then the skater bends his legs to absorb the force, and there you go, a perfect ollie. That's Niall. He's 10 years old. Pretty impressive stuff. The key to nailing the half pipe is speed. When Niall drops in from the top, gravity is accelerating him down to the ground. And he's speeding up and speeding up. He's gaining moving energy, known as kinetic energy. But to keep that energy, what he has to do is crouch down at the bottom of the ramp and then explode up, extending the knees, and that gives you the extra burst of power you need to get up the ramp. But he's fighting against gravity. Eventually, all that kinetic energy runs out, he slows down, he stops going up, and he starts going down. So if you want to get some good height, make sure you pump harder with that pop at the bottom of the ramp. Get practicing, and then you might be as good as Niall. And after a lot of practice, we might get as good as Niall. <laughs> yeah, like a lot, a lot, a lot of practice. Skateboard started out as just a plank of wood with roller skate wheels underneath. And now that engineered to perfection, they're normally made of thin layers of wood get all glued together. Probably something like maple, which is really tough but really elastic as well. And the board doesn't just curve up at the front and the back, it also curves up on either edge and it gives it a concave shape, which strengthens the board and gives the rider more control. And the wheels are no longer made of steel or clay, now they're made of urethane, which is a durable plastic. And this gives greater grip in the turns and also a softer ride as well. The wheels used to just rotate on the axle, but there'd be loads of friction between the wheel and the axle, and it would wear it down. 
Now use bearings, small metal balls that sit between the wheel and the axle, reduces the friction and means the wheel can move and push you lots further on one kick. So if you fancy a go at skateboarding, grab a helmet and some pads and head out to your nearest skate park and give it a go. And if you know the science behind what's going on, then you can see just how these guys do things like ollies. Then you want to board slides, front side 180s and kind of stuff like that. So head out there and explore the science of your favourite sports and come join us, the Science Junkies, next time on the Sports Lab.